In this video of the KC Car Connection, I found some retail for Series 2. Let's get into it. Alright, welcome back everybody. Josh here with the KC Car Connection. And yes, I found some retail for Series 2. Uh, a couple blasters. I found these at Barnes & Noble, um, of all places. Checking out the lids, and then I stopped by Barnes and Nobles, and they had some. So I picked up a few. We're gonna open up a couple here for the channel. Um, see if maybe we can get some of those new parallels. They have the uh, blue and purple rainbow foils. Um, to, I think it's $9.99 and $7.99, $6.99. A little bit higher numbered, but so that's kind of cool. Something new. It's a retail only. And uh, yeah, I don't really say anything about those on here, but which is kind of weird since that's an exclusive. I didn't notice anything at least, but doesn't mean I it's not, but I don't weird. Yeah, didn't have it mentioned on there. It had this actually, look, it says um, green foil number to 499 and more, including yeah, but doesn't say anything about the exclusive for retail which is fairly odd anyways well, let's get into it we're going to get the manufactured relic i think that's specific to this um i don't even remember what it was called now we're going to find out i i saw it i looked it up but cannot remember the name what it is now so but we will find out i'm just hoping to get some of those sweet new parallels on a sweet rookie. There's Joe Adele, he just got called back up. All right, nothing. That's cool, we'll take that. Mr. Getting sent back. Yeah. seen these new rookies there we go that's that's what we wanted we needed him on a blue a purple the 88 all-star design Gabriel all right back at it but it does talk all about the golden mirror on the box that's for sure but, so maybe I didn't see what the odds are because they're obviously not on packs anymore. It says go to tops, which I miss the odds on the pack. I enjoyed that. Spencer Steer, another good rookie. Deal Hall. Gunnar Henderson. Um, I missed that on the packs because I did. I always like to look afterwards, kind of see what. Oh man, that was a rare hit. Now, oh, that's hard to have. I mean, get my iPad here. All right, so it looks like yeah, we're gonna get our relic here. Let's see what it is. Uh, but it'll just be nice, real quick, to see what the odds are. I can just flip over the packs because even if I look it up, I'll forget it. Oh shit, Logan. All right, so here's a favorite son of Texas, Clayton Kershaw, covering up our. Ooh, all right. Oh yeah, Father's Day. That's right. Ooh, we got a gold one. That's seventy-four, seventy-five. Hunter Green, the Father's Day patch. That's what it was. I remember now. That's actually not too bad. Um, it is. Yeah, just a manufactured patch, so not game worn, not player worn. But I don't know. A little bit nicer than the helmet, and they're not so heavy. I got a gold Hunter Green. Nice. That's a nice one. Sweet. Not gonna lie, I do like these better than the helmets, mainly because they don't weigh 10 pounds and not nearly as thick. Um, had to have a the uh, really thick 230 point um, top loaders. And that one you could probably get by with like a even a 130 even. Yeah. Smaller. All right. Still, though, we need some parallels. Again, I, I really wish it was on those packs. I could go look, see what we're expecting. 
But it's not. Oh, here we go. It's not numbered. Oh, and a gold. So Rainbow Four, Bull Nailer, and Pittsburgh Pirates. Gold, 2023. Nice. So it seemed like from Series 1, we all know the retail odds of getting hits like that were slim. Um, and then from last year in the update, you would usually get two or three parallels per per box would be normal. And we got three so far because since our uh, relic was a hit, which normally, you know, that doesn't even play a factor into what your hit would be, your parallels. Kyle. All right. So one last pack. Still no blue or purple. I'm kind of excited to see that. I haven't seen any of these open. I think there's some online, but I just didn't watch them. All right, Garrett Mitchell. Josh Young. All right, we're getting some of these rookies here. More of them. Bailey. Painty on the cup card. And Shohei on the chrome. Nice. And DeGrom. I think he's getting Tommy John again, as I saw. All right, hey, not a bad box. We did get a rookie on a parallel. Um, unfortunately, not one of the new ones. I want to see this blue or purple. Hopefully, this box will do it for us. Box two. But yeah, definitely not bad. Man, the 100 green is nice. That's cool. 74, 75 in the gold. And I'm not going to lie, that's not that's not bad. I mean, at least it's kind of looks like it's a something that could have been on a uni, a uniform for sure. Even though it's not. It clearly says that, but. Hmm, not bad. I'm really excited actually for those debut patches. Man, I'm pretty sure things are gonna have to be. Ooh, another Jordan Walker. Nice. Those don't have to be one on ones. I hope so. That'd be. Those are gonna be massive hits. Um, and once they add like an auto to them, or if maybe they had two patches on, like they put two patches on. One's gonna have you know two cards. One will just be a patch, and then one will be a patch auto. Oh, that would be sweet. But that's still yet to come. Probably, I was hoping maybe they'd sneak some in Series 2. Um, but it looks like it's all going to be an update. I, ho I hope they're in flagship. I don't know if it ever said it was going to be in flagship. Um, and not in some other higher-end product. It would be cool to be able to, I mean, long odds I'm sure on them. But um, would be cool to have a shot out of... Um, the flagship Goldschmidt piles are getting messed up. The show, hey, yeah. him last time as well. All right, cool. Some of them turned around, Nate Eaton. Not turned around. This one is Ford Proctor, whoever that is. So another rookie though on a rainbow foil. That's Ford Proctor. Who are you? Drafted Rays. Is that number three? Well, that is that acquired. Hmm. Well, second uh, rookie parallel. Still no um, no foils. Let's get these new foils. I kind of think it'll be a fun chase for retail. They added that, so that should uh, hopefully bring back retail for 2023 tops. Ooh, I got something here. All right, it's parallel of some sort. Oh no, it's Ernie Banks on the Legends of the Game. Cool, but nice. And here's our relic, not numbered, but it's Judge. Cool. Yeah, not honestly, not bad for a manufactured relic. Not that I really care about them. At least these, I'm, I'm voting these are definitely better than last year's. 
definitely. All right, I have Josh Young on the uh, stars of the MLB. And these seem to be a little bit rarer hits than what I've seen to people opening the hobby boxes and whatnot. You know, not super rare, you know, just, you know, more like the black gold. Like where you don't get them nearly as often as, you know, the, 80, you know, the 88s and whatnot. So. Oh boy, I can see. I saw some blue shimmer back there. Oh yeah. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Hopefully it's a big one. So where is it? Oh, it's near the back. Okay. All right. We're gonna have a chrome in front of it of Joey Votto and Michael Lorenzen. Hmm. Um. It's different. It's got a different look than the. Um, wish I had an example of like all the other foils. It's all oh, the whole card is that, and not just it's not just the border. It's the whole card. Now I gotta go look and find one. Well, I don't have one nearby, but not bad looking. Pretty cool. I dig that. So this will be at a $9.99, I believe. Yep. $8.93 and $9.99. So that's kind of cool. So I think they still have the royal blue. It won't be numbered, but I think people like to have a numbered card. So I think this was a good move to add to the retail for sure. And we got one, but it's Michael Lorenzen. Not quite what we were looking for. So all right, we've got two of the chromes. So one per box. It's good to know. I think it's fairly common to get two or get a chrome out of one of these. I don't think you're guaranteed, but it happens often enough. At least from my recollection from Siri or update last year. So I opened up a lot. Johnny Cueto. There we go. Yoshida on the 88. That's nice. One of our better rookie inserts so far. I did get that young on the stars, but I think this one's a little nicer. It's cool looking. Just leave that one up. It's a good card. I, I mean, just that photo is nice. That's a cool one. Get that like on a blue or the red out of 10. All right. Last pack. Probably not getting another numbered card like that. But there we go. Here we had a hot box. Here Mitchell again. Josh Young again, Isabel McCarthy, and a blue. All right, nice. Yeah, I think retail is back, guys. Um, not bad. So, obviously, they get the insert. You always get those. You're going to get lucky. You know who it is. If it's one of the rookies or not, you know, we got a nice Yoshida. And then, so two boxes. We had five regular parallels. So on the regular cards, not bad. One of the new ones, the blue um, foil board, technically what it's called on the checklist. Um, and then one gold. So one box had two, one had three. Not bad. Actually, both had three because we also had the parallel again. Not normal. That's nothing to do with what you can buy these hits, but not bad. Two little boxes. Um, I think, yeah, retail could be back, man, with the rookies that are in this. Um, quite a few, a couple big times, and then a bunch of other um, supporting cast for sure. Um, and then that's not bad. That's pretty cool. Uh, hopefully, maybe see some hangers, but not bad. So maybe we'll be doing some retail. I think I heard Brett had a case of some sort of retail coming in, so that may be a good watch, but... Alright guys, well thanks for watching and until next time, see you!